If you use one of the many Chromium-based web browsers like Chrome, Vivaldi, Brave, Opera, or Microsoft Edge, Chrome extensions are a great way to improve your overall browsing experience with additional features. So coming up, I'll show you 10 Chrome extensions in a variety of categories we think are quite useful, a few of which were recommended by viewers in the comments of past videos. Let's get started. Intelligent Speaker is a free smart reader that lets you convert files, web articles, and blog posts into speech. It lets you save any text to listen to later on just about any device with apps also available for iOS and Android. Here's how it works. Click the Intelligent Speaker icon. You have two choices. Clicking on the paperclip icon here on the right lets you select just about any file with text on your computer. We'll cancel this one out. Clicking on the plus icon lets you save the page you're currently on. To listen to it now or later, click on play. You can also rewind and fast forward as needed and change the playback speed. Let's play a sample. How to use machine learning for IoT analysis. Machine learning and the Internet of Things, IoT, have been the buzzwords for the decade. You also have other options to the right of the file. You can download the file to listen to offline and delete it when you're done. While the basic free plan does give you most of the primary features, it does limit you to one hour of listening per month and you can't download the audio. To be able to download the audio and get more listening time, the premium plan is $6.99 per month. Unsplash is a fantastic free website for photos I've told you about in the past. Their Chrome extension makes it easier to search and download any images from their site. All photos are free for both commercial and non-commercial use with no permission needed. It's simple to use and it doesn't matter which site you're on. First click the Unsplash icon. Enter your search term. Let's go with Hawaii. Then click on search. Scroll through the images to find the one you want. When you right click the image, you have the option to open that image in a new tab, save it to your computer, copy the image to your clipboard and paste it where you need it, or copy the address for that image to visit that photo's webpage later on. Octoshop is a useful extension that can help to save you money by showing you other retailers with the same item that may have a lower price. And if the item's out of stock, we'll notify you when it's back in stock. I'll quickly show you how to use it. When you click the Octoshop icon, it'll show you their supported stores. You'll see most of the popular stores listed, including Walmart, Amazon, Target, Best Buy, and many others. First, select the store you want to shop at. I'll go with Walmart. Do a search for the product you're looking for. I'll go with the Xbox Series X. Scroll down here a bit, and there it is. At this retailer, this item is out of stock. To compare pricing for an in-stock item, or to set up a notification for when that item comes back in stock, here on the right, click the Octoshop button. If a supported retailer had that item in stock for a lower price, you would click View Item to be sent to the product page for that retailer or to set up an alert for when that product comes back in stock, toggle the switch next to Notify when in stock. Check frequency determines how often it checks to see if that item's in stock. I'll leave it on Ultra. To avoid scalper pricing notifications, you have the option to put a price in here to only notify you under a certain price. And you can change the notification sound. I'll change this one to cash register and click test to try it out. And you can check the box next to priority tracking but this is only available if you refer a friend. Click on track when you're done. You can set up in-stock notifications for as many stores as you want. This will be a quick one. Picture in Picture is an extension created by Google, which is great for multitaskers. It lets you watch videos in a floating window while you're interacting with other sites in your browser or programs on your computer. I'll keep this paused and muted while I demonstrate. Click the Picture in Picture icon in the upper right to activate it. It'll show up here on your screen, usually in the right corner. Unlike the mini player with YouTube and other sites, it lets you move it around the screen to wherever you want it. I'll drop it here in the left corner. You can also left click and drag the edges to increase or decrease the size. Speed Test is a well-known website to test your internet performance. Instead of going directly to the site, their extension lets you quickly check your ping along with your download and upload speeds to ensure that you're getting the performance that you're paying for. To use it, go to the toolbar and select the speed test icon. Then click on go. 
It'll first check your ping, followed by the download and upload speeds. Volume Master is a must-have extension for those times you can't hear the audio, even when you have the volume turned up to 100. It works on any site playing audio and can boost the volume up to 600%. Once again, I'll keep this paused and muted. To use Volume Master to boost the volume, click their icon in the toolbar, and while the audio is playing, move the slider to the right. Just be careful not to blow your speakers. Nimbus Capture is an excellent extension that lets you take a screenshot of any part of your screen, and it also includes a screen recorder to record video from your screen and webcam. First, I'll show you how to take a screenshot, and then show you how to record video. To take a screenshot, click the Nimbus Capture icon in the toolbar. To capture your screen, you have eight choices, including the entire page, selected area, visible part of the page, and others. Let's take a screenshot of the entire page. Your screenshot will open in a new tab with a toolbar at the top with several tools to edit your image. When you're done marking it up, click on Done. You have options to save it to Nimbus, Google Drive, Dropbox, Slack, or save it to your computer. To record your screen, once again, click the icon for Nimbus Capture and select Record Video. You have the option to enable your microphone and webcam, along with other choices. In the section, What do you want to record? lets you choose your desktop, webcam only, or the current tab. I'll go with Tab and click Start Record. You'll know it's recording with the red dot on the Nimbus icon. While recording, when you click the icon, you have the option to pause or stop recording. So I'll stop it right now. You'll see the familiar save options, along with a video editor that lets you crop and trim, along with a video converter to convert your video to an MP4 or GIF file. Pluto TV is useful for those of you that watch TV shows and movies on your computer. It's completely free with more than 100 channels to choose from in various categories, along with on-demand content. To begin, click on the Pluto TV icon. Choices are channels and on-demand. Channels includes a handy guide, similar to what you find with any cable provider. And on-demand lets you choose any TV show or movie to watch whenever you want. Let's go back to channels. The default is all categories, or you could select a specific category. I'll go with sports. Then just click the channel you want to watch. Wappalizer is an extension that helps to identify the technologies a particular website is built with. It's useful for developers to uncover more than a thousand technologies in dozens of categories. On any site, click the Wappalizer icon. For example, on this popular site, it shows the advertising platforms used, analytics, the JavaScript libraries and frameworks, and a whole lot more. If you want to find out more about a platform and who else is using it, click on it. For this example, let's go with Bootstrap. In the new tab that opens, it'll give you a description of the platform, along with additional information, including the top sites using it. For those times you need to take a short break, playing a game can be useful to help free your mind. With more than 1 million users, Voxel Rebound is a classic jumping game created by two brothers. To launch the game, click on the Voxel Rebound icon. You have the choice to turn the audio on or off, enable full screen, or to enable a more intense fast mode. I'd recommend enabling full screen, otherwise you'll be playing in this tiny box. Next, click play. There are 50 levels to complete. The goal is to jump your box to the end of each level. Left clicking your mouse makes the box jump. It's more difficult than it sounds. Here's an example. I'll go back to level one and click the forward button here at the bottom to start. Hitting any box with an exclamation point will give you helpful tips. Click continue. As you advance through the game, it gets more difficult. Thanks for watching. Links for the extensions mentioned are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite Chrome extension? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about useful browser extensions and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.